There's no surprise here. The HTC One M8 has the more attractive design thanks to its premium construction and top-notch stylish looks. There's just no comparison. It's metal versus plastic and the HTC One M8 just has more of an attractive force behind it. Of course, there are some pros and cons with using plastic. The pros include it being the lighter between the two and also having the slimmer profile, but as you can tell here, it's more prone to smudges. Whereas with the metal body of the HTC One M8, it just has a more uniform look to it. It's sturdier, and on top of that, it maintains a cleaner look. There's no arguing that they're both beastly sized handsets, but strangely enough, the LG G2 actually has the larger size screen versus the HTC One M8. But if you look from the profile, you could see that the One M8 is longer. As we all know, the LG G2's power and volume controls are placed in the rear, so it's kind of weird at first, but after a while we get used to it, but they don't feel as good compared to the physical controls on the uh, HTC One M8, the volume controls on the right edge, and the power buttons on top. If we take a look around their trims, they pretty much feature the same set of ports. So you have the 3.5mm headset jacks and you have also their micro USB ports for charging data connectivity and video app functionality, both on the bottom edge. You have the microphone and the speaker at the bottom edge with the LG G2. And of course with HTC One M8, we know that it features two front firing speakers with HTC Boom Sound. And the top edge, you, it's kind of hard to make it out, but they have their IR blasters, so they double as universal remote. It's worth mentioning that the HTC One M8 features a handy micro SD card slot so you have memory expansion. And being true flagship phones, they feature some awesome looking displays. The HTC One M8 features a 5 inch 1080p Super LCD 3 display with Gorilla Glass 3. While the LG G2 packs a 5.2 inch 1080p True HD IPS Plus display with Gorilla Glass 2. Technically on paper, it's the HTC One M8 that has the higher pixel density between the two. It's at 441 pixels per inch versus 423 pixels per inch with the LG G2. But honestly, uh, you're not going to notice a difference. Even when you're looking up very close, they're still super sharp and detailed. As for the rest, they have pretty much similar qualities with their display, saying that they rely on LCD technology. So for starters, a very similar color reproduction, a little bit of a, of a saturated look with the two of them. Again, gives it a very pleasant look. Strong brightness output with the two, so they're more than visible even in outdoor conditions. And view angles, as we can tell, are pretty much identical. They don't really distort a whole lot. They maintain their sharpness and clarity, so the two are pretty equal in this front. And finally, we'll quickly graze over their cameras. With the HTC One M8, it features a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera, while the LG G2 has a larger 13 megapixel one. Similar to how we prefer the overall design of the HTC One M8 over the LG G2, we say the same thing about their user interface. Since 6.0 just has a better appeal to it, it's cleaner, more modern looking, whereas with the LG skin here, it has just a slightly cartoony look to it. And of course, you'll also have that neat experience with HTC Blink Feed with the HTC One M8. However, LG's customized Android experience has a ton of features. Some are useful, others can be deemed as redundant, but there's a lot more going on with it over the HTC One M8. So the first we talk about here is just multitasking. Of course, both handsets, we can jump into the multitasking menu at any time just by doing that, but the LG G2 takes it up a little bit just because you have the various QSlide applications on hand. So they're basically mini applications that layer on top of whatever we're doing. So it gives us quick access to them. And on top of that, we have also the slide aside feature, which allows us to save up to three applications and jump into them at any time. While the phone is off, we could actually double tap the screen to actually make it turn it turn it on so we could view things like the time and date and also get right into the interface. And if you want, likewise, we could double tap anywhere there's dead space to turn it off. We could even access the camera from here by just holding down the volume down button for a couple of seconds. 
Meanwhile, the HTC One M8 has something similar. So basically, while the phone's turned off, we could double tap the screen to actually bring it to life so it could view the uh, time and date and weather conditions. If we want to, we could actually unlock the device by doing a gesture like that and also access the camera by just tilting the phone into landscape, pressing either of the volume controls and it gets us right into it. At the end of the day, it's just a matter of personal preference. Either interfaces can appeal to you, but if you like something that has a superior design to it and has tight integration with social networking, you'll really appreciate what the HTC One M8 has to offer with its Sense 6.0 interface. On the other hand, if you want a ton of features, especially multitasking, you're gonna like the LG G2. Being the newer handset, the HTC One M8 benefits by having the most cutting edge hardware. Though to tell you the truth, the performance is really hard to gauge just because they're both really responsive with similar tasks. So with HTC One M8, it features a quad-core 2.3 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor with 2 GB of RAM, whereas with the LG G2, it has the slightly older 2.3 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor with 2 GB of RAM. Like I said, the HTC One M8 might have the upper hand for having the newer hardware, but honestly, the performance is pretty much identical to two. They're both super snappy and responsive. We have no complaints either about the web browsing performance with the two handsets. Similar results, again, they both pack on 4G LTE connectivity, so you're gonna get fast page loads. On top of that, you're gonna get very responsive navigational control. So kinetic scrolling, pinch zooming, they're all buttery smooth. The only difference here is just that the HTC One M8 has a smaller display, but honestly, that's not a deal breaker. We actually prefer the music player of the, of the HTC One M8 just because it has more of an animated dynamic approach. You can see that with the visualizer option enabled right now and its ability to actually uh, display lyrics as the song is being played. As far as the audio quality, there's no question about it too. The HTC One M8's dual front firing HTC boom sound speakers are just more commanding, has a stronger presence than the LG G2.